extremely important to talk to you guys about that needs to be shared with a lot of people. Uh, I'm going to have to put it out as a hypothetical, right? Okay. So, let's say hypothetically. There is millions of masks that flew in direct from Shanghai to a company that didn't even exist two months ago. And it flew, these masks flew on a private jet directly into JFK International from Shanghai right China because if y'all haven't if y'all don't know that China has essentially taken over power back in Hong Kong and um, let me let me throw something else out there do y'all know what one of the biggest revenue generators was in Wuhan before uh, the Wu flu? Anybody? Anybody? Fentanyl. Anybody know what fentanyl is? Fentanyl is an opiate that is about 1,000 times as potent as morphine and It is, and has been, um, you know, put out that this could be used as a bioterrorism weapon. And you're probably thinking, how could they do that if it's, you know, if it's like morphine, don't you have to shoot it up or something? Unfortunately, not with fentanyl. They have fentanyl patches. Fentanyl can be made into a paste, into a gel, put into, let's say, hand sanitizer. Let's say it can even be used as a powder, like anthrax. Let's say it can be put on things like masks. Yeah. Uh, again, all hypothetical. Hypothetical, right? And let's say that these masks that flew in with this company that before was, wasn't was even a company, you know, there, it's just some random place that apparently got all these government contracts now and has all these huge contracts with all of these businesses. It's not 3M. Mm -mm. This place is called Cove Care. Cove Care. Yeah, they care. But uh, back to the the masks that flew in to sh to JFK on a private jet from Shanghai. Um, they were tested. They were tested. But hypothetically, they were tested, and they failed their inspection. And not they didn't fail the inspection of. Well, they won't work properly. No. They failed inspection as there was something on these masks. But yet, the people that tested them hypothetically tested them were overruled by their, um, their higher ups. And they were forced to go ahead and push through these masks. And now all these masks are being handed out for free by big companies. And even, like, my, my dad told me, uh, why, why did I just receive masks in... These, I'm talking about the paper masks, okay? Why, why did I just receive masks in my mail? And I'm like... Don't open them, throw them in the trash. I told him that. So we're going hypothetically with the other situation. 
but this is what I told my dad to do. And this is what I recommend for everyone else to do. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know how else to say it without, um, being on a massive radar, which I already am, y'all know that. And this isn't even something that I want to put out. It's so terrifying. It truly is. It's terrifying because we know exactly who these masks are being given to. They're given to the elderly and they're given to the poor. That's just a fact. And probably children because you know, today I was at a, a outlet mall today and they were like, oh, we have free masks. And I'm like, don't, don't touch it to my kids. But, um, you know, I still have uh, the masks and the shirts and all of these things that I have made in my Teespring store that you can go check out. And they are reusable masks if you have to use masks at least make a statement while you're wearing the masks um, I have gospel message masks I also have uh, Trump 2020 uh, it says uh, hashtag defund the police is why I'm voting for Trump 2020 um, I have some that say all lives matter isn't that why you're forcing me to wear this um, and you know that just is going to trigger the the emotionally unstable folks i don't know if y'all heard about that story of the store manager from bed bath and beyond or bath and body works and the dude was wearing a trump 2020 mask and the store manager said f trump <laughs> And the dude got it on video and she got fired. I mean, store manager. Like how, like that's how emotionally unstable these people are. Like the top of the store, somebody, you know, like you're the manager of this store and you can't even control your emotions. It's, a, it's, it's hilarious. Um, but we definitely need to be spreading the gospel message for sure with all this spiritual warfare going on. Um, what California announced that they will, they're canceling churches until further notice. Not they, they not as if they have the power to do that. Uh, but of course, the big churches are going to comply, and they will Corona shame everybody else into lockstep. Um, it, I just truly never thought I would see um, such spineless people in the United States ever in my lifetime but um so I just realized that even though oops even though you know my channel's demonetized and they won't put my YouTube my merch shelf underneath a video sorry it won't show it right here but you can do this. Look, when you go to my channel, there's all these tabs at the top. Go to store. And you're going to see right here. So these are some of my designs. Social distancing is a tactic used by the CIA to break you down. Um, all lives matter. All of these things. I have shirts. I have all kind of stuff. People are like, oh, you're just selling masks. No, I'm not. I have tons of shirts, tons of stuff. They're not all on here because YouTube only shows a handful of them. So you just click on any of them. Like, here, click on this tank. And it's going to bring you to the, to the Teespring store. And you'll be able to see all of my listings. And I'm still working on others. I just made this one. Unborn Lives Matter, 365,000 abortions committed last year. Um, what this is, is it's kind of hard to tell, I guess, on here, but it's a baby with the Bible verse Psalms. But you see how it it's in the shape of a baby in the womb. That's why I use that one. 
um, and all these other ones. Y'all need Jesus. <laughs> all my listing. But I, everybody was like, why don't you just put the message on shirts? And I have the message on shirts. People are just being dramatic. Um, and not looking at things, but, um, I didn't know that you could see it directly from my channel. Bless your heart, on the back of this one, it is, um, why can't I see it? On the back of this one, it says, defund the police is the reason that I'm voting for Trump. Um, Although y'all know my thoughts about Trump, um, we're so close to the election, there's no way we can allow the, um, the defund the police fools to get into office because it, it's just too dangerous. So, um, I put that on the back of this coffee mug and let me see. But I, ha I have tons of things right here. And some people asked about the mask that I'm wearing in my video yesterday. I made this myself. This one right here. Um, and, you know, if enough people want one, I guess I, you know, I'm sure I could whip some up. I mean, I know I can. It's just they'll probably be more expensive than the ones in the store because of the cost of materials. Unless I can find like a, a mass quantity of this type of material. Because these things are like $5 and then for me to make it, ju just the actual scarf thing is $5. Uh, on retail price and then the vinyl to actually make these so, but I mean if people are willing to buy it they might be around 20 bucks is all I'm saying but they're much cooler <laughs> they're practically um, I mean like uh, it's hard to explain but they're so thin it's almost like uh, pantyhose I guess you can <laughs> You see how you can kind of see through it? And they don't make you look like a big weirdo with those other masks. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all that. But again, you know, I know there's... Y'all need to calm down. There's people that have to work. And they have to wear masks. So at least you, if you're going to wear the mask... At least make a statement. They want us bucking this. I'm telling you. They, that's why they're doing this. All this corona shaming and mask shaming these people and, and whatever. And now they're putting it on the business owners. Business owners are going to be um, fined like $500 if they don't make people wear masks in their store. I mean, how much more horrific could they get on these poor store owners? So we can't even blame the store owners. Walmart, heck, I don't care. Do whatever you want there. But I, these small businesses, that's who it's going to affect, just like all of this. Um, I made this cell phone case. Bless your heart. Don't tread on me. 1776. So again, it's not just masks. Um, and I'm gonna, uh, like I said, I'm gonna make more uh, different designs and everything. But there's people that I understand you are forced to wear masks at work. And in this economy that's about to completely break down, we know you can't just quit your job right now. Um, so, it, I don't know. And for people saying that, oh, now it's mask and next it's a vaccine, that that's silly. 
That really is silly. You're giving them the power. You are giving them the power. Take the power back and say, oh yeah, it's mine. I'm good. I'm good. And I'm telling you, once they see that people are like having no issue with it and spreading the gospel or spreading truth, if we can do this in mass, but it's like people are bucking it so much. Um, you know, especially for Christians, like, what, what this is your, your war that you're going to fight for? Really? I mean, it, it's probably not the best, the best thing. I wouldn't recommend wearing these for a very long time. I want everybody to be safe. Uh, put them in, in ice. You know, if you're having to wear them, put them in a, a cold bag or something. But you're giving them the power. You see what I mean? You're giving them the power by allowing it to affect you. So, uh, anyway, if you'd like to help support my channel, the links will be in the pinned comments and probably in the description. Y'all be careful, and I don't know, <laughs> That's, I don't know what else to say.